Hello and welcome back here on the channel. Today we are going to review the Five Finds Level Your Lapel Mic C2A. Let's see the intro. All right, guys, I'm not going to drag this out. I just gotta see what's in the box. I think we just, you know, do the unboxing. First, we have a little user manual. I think it's pretty handy. You gotta check it out before you use it. It tells you everything what you need to know about this microphone and all the accessories. Next one, you get a little bag. I love it when they give a little bag for the microphones. You gotta keep them safe. It's, it's, it's a need to have accessory. More accessories, you get a clip. Actually, this is an extra clip for it. And some windshields. You can always lose them. You can always, you know, break them. Whatever, it's just good to have a spare part for it. And let's see our awesome lapel mic. I think it's a pretty sturdy head. It does have the clip already on it. And it does have, it comes with a windshield already. So it's an all set, all ready to go. It's perfect. It's a pretty long cord, uh, feels really sturdy. The connector is awesome. And then, you get an adapter. This adapter is very important because with this, you're going to be able to use your microphone on almost any devices you want to. You can use it on your phone, on a sound recorder, or you just plug it in, in your camera directly. So it's awesome they have this in the box. I think most of the companies, all of the companies should do this. And one more thing, you get an extender. Uh, I think it's always very handy. You never know where you can put down your recorder. If you don't have a wireless system, you're gonna need this for sure. All right, guys, I think it's time to check it out. Let's hear it, how it sounds. Right now, I'm using a Rode uh, video mic. Uh, it's kind of a standard thing when you go for YouTube video making, and I think a lot of people are using it but right now we are gonna make a comparison between the two of course it's not easy because that's a shotgun mic and this is a lapel mic so it's not gonna be the best comparison but i think uh, we are going to see the usability of this little microphone anyway i'm gonna switch back and forth while i'm talking so you can hear the difference between the two microphones right now i'm recording the Rode video mic uh, through a sound recorder and the level air mic is going to be recorded on my phone. In this case, I'm not using the adapter what I got for it because it works perfectly with the iPhone like that. And I think you can hear pretty much the difference right now, how, how clear it is and, and the different use of this microphone. I love to I love to review microphones. I think I think that's that's something you can really hear. Something it's really exciting, and and you can hear the characteristics and the difference between microphones. And you can also find and it's actually really good to look for your own thing. What's really connects with your voice. So one more time, let's check it out. How things sound on the Rode video mic. This is the Rode video mic, and. It's going through the sound recorder. I think it's pretty awesome as well. I mean, but it's way more expensive. Let's check out the Lavalier mic, the Fine Finds C2A. And I think it does have a decent sound. I think it sounds amazing. The windshield is working if you're outside. I did test it before. Uh, I think for its value, it's an amazing microphone and it's perfect for YouTube video making. All right, let's. Let's see what we've been, let's hear what we've been learning here. Um, I'm going to show you in, in this video some ways of use of this microphone. Uh, you can plug it in directly to your camera. If your camera has a microphone input, uh, you can use it on your phone, which is really, really handy. So if you're outside and you're, sh you know, running gun, you just have the mic on here and you have the phone in your pocket, you start recording. It's perfect. I think for vlogging purposes, it's just great. You can really just run and gun and, and have a clear and great sound 
for your videos when you're talking. The other thing is you can really use it with some cameras like right now I'm using a Sony A5100. It doesn't have a microphone input. So in this case, again, just to win. It's also just a way better way to vlog because you don't have a big microphone sticking off on your of your camera ergonomically it's just better actually it really doesn't pick up that much noise i expected a way worse performance i've been trying out cheaper lavalier mics and i wasn't really sure that i'm going to use those but in this case i'm pretty um i gotta say i'm pretty surprised and it's not an expensive microphone and i think you know you think about affordable things might be you know you gotta go into compromises but i think in this case i think in this case it's great right now you are listening of the five fine c2a lavalier mic and you tell me i think it's enjoyable i hope you like it as well i hope you guys enjoyed the review and actually i gotta say i i'm pretty much surprised with the result i think this microphone sounds pretty awesome it's really worth the price, it's an affordable uh, lapel mic with accessories that other providers don't really include the box. So I can really recommend to get one of these. If you are going to vlog or just do your YouTube videos at home, I think it's a really easy way to record sound and you can just plug it into your phone or your recorder or directly to your camera and you're good to go. See you guys.